I believe that even in its most stable form, contemporary capitalism has come to the end of its capacity to expand the industrial proletariat. If you remove Syria, then the cordon sanitaire around Israel is complete. There is no adversary left. There is not going to be a resistance of the Qaddafi loyalists and so on, but my view is that there is going to be a lot of chaos in the sense that the very people who came together with the objective of overthrowing uh, Qaddafi, uh, now they're, they're, there's going to be, I think, a brutal fight over spoils um, in which various groups will form. It's really worth emphasizing NATO North Atlantic, North Atlantic, Treaty organization is fighting wars in Afghanistan and Libya and may fight further in inland in Africa. Yemen has actually had a past of highly sophisticated political developments. Part of this Saleh and so part of the, uh, the, the point of convergence between Saleh and Saudi Arabia and Americans and so on is to suppress all of that past. A person of the left must always ask, what is the social base? Who is doing the organizing? Who is doing the funding? How is this politics benefiting the working classes? Who is producing the images? Where does my knowledge of it comes from? A society as ferociously unequal as ours necessarily involves resentments and conflicts and there will always be forces that will seek to channelize those potentials of violence into communal and caste conflagrations. That is why the cultivation of the scientific temper and exercise of secular reason were deemed central to our public ethics by the founders of our union. Then, one of the prominent leaders of the Muslim Brotherhood uh, and a whole gang of them were welcomed in the White House by Eisenhower. It goes back that far, this alignment with the Muslim Brotherhood. You see some of it, quite a bit of it, again and again in, in, in a place like Kerala, where, where it is a state within the Republic of the bourgeoisie with very limited resources and so on. And, then, and yet there are extraordinary moments again and again and again um, <clears throat> where this human solidarity for the sake of us all, no one in particular. Uh, this erupts and becomes a part of the way of life that the uh, 
the communist movement in, in Kerala is trying to create. What you have in Venezuela is that the infra, what I'm calling the infrastructure of the socialist revolution, the power structures at the base are being created at a very rapid rate and in astonishingly innovative ways, astonishingly innovative ways, uh, which is giving millions upon millions upon millions of people daily practical involvement in the building of the revolution. You know, the amazing thing about Che is that he, his entire life, actual texture of his life, is that of profound internationalism. For him, the ultimate arena of revolution was actually the world. Revolution interrupts, it reverses, and it and it sets up on sets up a logic of changing human beings, human relations, very idea of what is a valuable human life. <laughs>